Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about uh, JE Paper 2B B Planning. Uh, how you can you have to prepare for this? What are the portion? How will be the marking scheme and everything regarding uh, JE Paper 2B B Planning? So let's begin. Mode of exam will be completely online. It's a computer based uh, examination uh, where your JE papers happen, and uh, it's of totally 400 marks. Uh, the subjects are of divided into three types. It's uh, maths. You have you will be having your twelfth standard maths. Basically, you have to prepare for that. The amount of maths you study for your JE main exam, mains exam for engineering, will be far enough for you to work with this. Next one is aptitude, and third one is planning part of it. So all these are um, the three parts of the your JE main B planning paper. And uh, once you enter to the math section, you will be having uh, 20 questions which are of MCQ and five numerical type questions. So your uh, 20 MCQ questions have four marks each and one negative marking each. But five numerical questions, uh, there is no negative marking in it. So you, I must say you have to solve, you will get some marks for this and as there will be no negative marking, no need to worry for that, right? Second one is aptitude question, MCQ questions. It will be very similar to how a mirror image looks, how a plan looks, what is like uh, elevation of certain object. Uh, it's about uh, way your observation skills work, uh, having idea about uh, color theory and uh, basic design principles and uh, basic things about uh, design art and architecture and planning, right? Next one, and uh, so this is where all these questions, if you solve older JE paper questions or if you solve NATA questions, you will get uh, you will get a hack on all the aptitude based questions. So they might uh, enhance their bars this time due to as na last year 2021 NATA exams uh, question papers were of high standard when compared to JE mains. So I would recommend you please study well this time. It's not going to be an easy one. So please give enough time for this. You have two months for uh, for the first session of the examination, which will be held in uh, which will be held in April. Second session will be in May. So if you are planning to give work for this. Second one is uh, there are 20, uh, third part is planning part of it. Okay, it has 25 questions. All of these are MCQ questions and uh, each question carries four marks for a right answer, negative one, minus one marks for a, uh, sorry, no, 20 questions carry uh, four marks each, which are MCQ. Five will be again numerical types here, uh, type here as well, where you will have to solve statistics and graph based problems. So what you have to study for planning part is the main questions most of the students will be having. What exactly is planning part in it? Because in architecture, uh, in your BR paper, you will be having drawing section in, instead of a planning question. But here you will be having planning based questions. So your planning is you have to study about graphs. You have to study about statistics, how to read the graphs and how to understand them. Uh, next one, you have to study about government planning schemes. The, there are many government plan, planning schemes like um, uh, Gram Sadak Yojana, your golden uh, knowledge about your golden quadrilateral or all the five-year plan systems like all the government five-year financial uh, five-year planning you have to study. Then you have to study smart city planning because this, this one is one of the most important part in the uh, planning exam and uh, you have to study about Indian transport system how they work uh, these new Udan scheme airports you have to have an idea about which are these newly arrived airports in India like the airports of uh, Belgium city in Karnataka then you have uh, so many newly built uh, air airports under the Udan schemes these new schemes you have new schemes new plans of the government you have to be aware of uh, they are again not uh, not only that transport you have to study about resource planning resource as in uh, how you uh, how you make sure uh, 
there is adequate water for everyone in uh, who are living in the country so uh, these plants which are uh, of joining river kaveri to ganga all these what are happening in them you should know about how these resources are planned and uh, economy planning all this then some general knowledge questions about that like uh, which is the highest uh, roadway in india all these transport related uh, economy related resource related uh, problems not only problems you are uh, schemes government has made for it you have to study it uh, then i would highly recommend uh, please study your 10th standard social science book especially cbse board social science book most of your b planning part questions will be a part of this one if you study um, all these you it will be very helpful for you i am telling you i am insisting you a lot please go through your 10th standard social science books a uh, book uh, especially the chapter which says uh, resource planning it's very very important because uh, in planning you are going to plan resources government schemes whatever i said so please go through it in case you have any doubts regarding the exam please let me know in the comment section if you want a personal class then also let me know in the comment section my mail id will be written down the link is given in the description please watch other related videos as well it will be helpful for you to study there are few videos on uh, uh planning the uh, not in not planning theories uh, the design theories and design principles it will help you to prepare for uh, je mains uh, paper 2a that is for architecture and uh, also if you are giving nata i would uh, recommend you to go through the playlist thank you for watching till now if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and share to as many people as 